Okay, uh, here's another related rates problem. And I, uh, I'm kind of doing this different. I, I kind of tilted this one on its side. Um, so I hope you can read it. Um, it says the length of a rectangle is decreasing at negative two centimeters per second um, while the width is increasing at two centimeters uh, per second. At what rates do the area and perimeter change um, when the length is 12 and the width is five? So let's just go ahead and fill these in right here. So the width is what, five? And the length is... 12 centimeters, okay? Um, and it's given to us that, um, let's say, oh, DL over time is negative 2, and DW DT is just regular 2, okay? We just picked that out of there. Um, so if we want the derivative of the area, um, we're going to go straight there. We're, we're going to uh, need the area of a rectangle which is L times W. Okay, if you didn't know that, uh, you know, don't worry, don't freak out. Um, so let's, uh, the th okay, the thing here is that we've got a, a product. So we'll end up using the product rule, um, and it's, it's usually not so obvious at first, but remember like F times G, um, if I want the derivative, I go derivative of F times regular G plus derivative of g plus regular f. Okay, we're just going to do the same thing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I want the derivative of, of the area, okay, with respect to time. Okay, so that's just going to be dl over dt, okay, times w, all right, just, just using this rule again, plus dw, Okay, over time times regular L. Okay, and we can go ahead and uh, just make all these substitutions because we know what DL is, DW is, we know what um, um, W and L are. So um, DL, let's see here, let's see if I can get a, a different color for this one. DL, well, that's what, negative 2? W is 5. Okay plus dw, that's 2, times the length, well that's 12, okay? So you have negative 10 plus 24, which gives you 14, and we're in what, centimeters per second? Okay, so there's your final answer. The area, um, well, while, while the sides of this thing are uh, changing, is 14 centimeters per second. Okay. Um, the next thing it wants to know is uh, that right at the perimeter, at which the perimeter changes. Okay. So perimeter, that's just equal to 2w plus 2l. Okay. And I think we're done with the words up here. So let's just kind of go up and see if we can't uh, do this. So if we want dp over time, well, that's just 2 times dw dt plus 2 dl dt. Okay, and that right there is just going to be equal to 2. And what's dw? 2? You know, it should cancel out, really. You know, one of them's increasing at the exact opposite rate as, as which the other one is. So ho hopefully, if we, did, if, if we did everything right, it should end up working out. So then we get 2 and dl... Well, looks like we're good, because we get 4 plus negative 4 equals 0. So the perimeter should stay the same, and that, and that makes sense. You know, the area wouldn't stay the same, because that's just one thing, okay? But the perimeter, you see, we're taking, you know, while the, um, you know, the width is growing, um, the, the length is shrinking at the exact uh, same uh, right, it's just the opposite. So if you just added, if you just totaled these things up at any moment in time, they they give you the same perimeter. So um, yeah, that makes perfect sense right there. So ho hopefully I didn't confuse you there. Um, 
let's just walk through it again. You know, we, we just uh, we just picked out all the information that we knew from the problem, such as the rates, um, the sizes, um, the actual shape. We went ahead and drew it, and then we use formulas. Um, you know, you might have to look some of these up. Um, you know, they might have a cone or a cylinder or something that you haven't seen in a while. And, and don't worry, you know, you're not expected to have everything memorized. Um, so we, we, we took some formulas, we took some information from the problem we already knew, and then we went ahead and we set up an equation, and then we just basically used uh, things like the product rule, uh, implicit differentiation, and things like that, and we found out some of these rates, okay? So thanks for watching, and I got more on the way, so stay tuned.